So today we are going to see a simple Safari extension app that I made. Uh, it's called Taps News. So before that, get subscribed and turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so let's talk about this app. Uh, its name is Taps News. What it does is uh, if you have a tab open in Safari, let's say this is my tab. Uh, you, you'll see this icon of Taps News on the top uh, uh, in the title bar. And it has like four options, one hour, tomorrow or another day, like three options. And in the another day, you can select the hour and the date. Also like the hour works for tomorrow as well. So what it does is it snoozes your tab, your current tab for a, a later date. So you can get reminded about this tab uh, in an hour or tomorrow at this hour or some another date. You can choose a date from here. So let's say I uh, press one hour. It's going to close the tab. So when you click on the notification, it will open the same tab again. So let's see how this is implemented. So to create a Safari extension, uh, all you do is uh, go to new and then select project. And because this is going to be Mac Safari extensions, I'm going to choose Safari extension app. And then you do next and you type your name and uh, there are two types of extension currently because in 2020 uh, Apple launched Safari web extensions as well so Safari web, web extensions are generally uh, app, app web extensions that are ported from Chrome to Safari while Safari app extensions are native extensions that are embedded inside Mac apps so because our app is very simple and it doesn't require us to interact too much with the JavaScript of the app, we will keep using simple Safari app extension. And you type your name and then you click next. Once you do that, you'll get this kind of project uh, with your app target and an extension target. That would be your Safari extension. So it, create, it creates two targets. Now in your app target, what I do is in application did finish launching. Uh, first, I'll get the notification sender set up because it has to notify user about the tab at a later point in time. So I want to request uh, for authorization to send notification. And once I do that, uh, I'm gonna show a window to the user to let them know this is a Safari extension and they will have to go and enable that into the Safari. So for that, I have this um, window controller. So once you create, when you create the Safari extension app project, you will get this automatically, this window controller that will have your app icon, app name, and then this button say, that says open in Safari extension preferences. When you click on this, it will open the Safari preferences with your uh, extension uh, enabled. So user can turn it on if they want to so that's the window i'm gonna conditionally pop up because once they enable it and they launch the app again i don't want them to be notified again so once they enable uh, when it, once at least they uh, use the extension with by clicking one of those buttons uh, i'm gonna show this pop, uh, window but once they start using the app i'm not gonna show it so that's why this preference will take care of it. Once I press any buttons here, uh, it will set the preferences and this window will no more show up. So I'll talk about this later. Um, and then we have this uh, user notification delegate uh, function implementations. So this is nothing but it's saying that even if the app is in the foreground, I want to show the notification. So this uh, will uh, UN user notification center will present and you do completion handler with alert badge and sound. Then even if your app is in focus, your notification is gonna show. Um, and this one right here is 
uh, our did receive notification when you click on the notification this function is gonna get triggered and i'm gonna open the url in safari again and this is this function uh, implements our uh, url scheme we have this tabs news url scheme so that our extension can launch our app so if you notice in the tabs news target in the info uh, field info section you can see i have this url type tabs news set and that enables us to call uh, the app with this scheme so if you put this uh, into a browser or call it call some url with that scheme instead of https it has tabs news this will open our app with whatever parameter we pass so everything will come as a url so that's what we're going to use uh, to communicate from this app uh, all tab extension so if you look at the all tab extension it has this uh, safari extension handler pre-made for you once you create the project it will be there and you might have to uh, add these uh, uh fun override these functions yourself if it's not there add them so this will evaluate the toolbar item and when tool item is clicked you can, if you're gonna do something you can do here but for now like this is a simple uh extension it's not gonna do much so i don't need to override any of them so this is the this safari extension view controller is the controller that you get when you create the project from xcode and you can modify the ui here and you can see this is the pop-up that you get when you click on the toolbar item these buttons can be hooked up so if i option click this file you can see i can hook up uh, these files into the v controller uh, just like how it works and then these ib actions are assigned so for every button i have these functions mapped so this is an hour clicked tomorrow clicked and order they clicked and as you can see this is our main function we call this function from each of our click actions and so if you see this news uh, method i'm getting the active window getting the active tab and getting the active page and getting the properties of the active page and then i get the url of the active page and once i have the url create this url string with that snooze scheme uh, with the string that we created here in the components and and, the, and then i open the url so what that's gonna do is it's gonna open the uh, the main app tab snooze because it has called its registered url scheme and we also close the tab uh, once we call this uh, once we open the url and open the main app and once the main app is opened uh, it will trigger this application open url because that we call the apps uh, scheme and once we decipher the parts from the url we split with comma and then get all the parts and according to the parts and then data that was passed uh, we make a notification content and also uh, according to options the option that was called we schedule a notification with the uh, uh, un notification request and un notification uh, sender and we do this for all the options that we have and that will schedule a notification for later for that tab because we had the url so uh, we we already know about the url that's gonna be embedded in the notification and once someone clicks on the notification we get the url out and open that in the safari and that's all about it as you can see in the preferences i i'm using this class preferences and an hour i'm storing the hour uh, that is here in this field i'm storing the hour and the date and is enabled let's see where i'm using now yeah this is for the window that i was talking about um, 
we want to show the initial window conditionally uh, once someone already used this app we don't want to show them again that in it to enable the safari extension so that that is being used for that and this one is used for the email not email button so talk to us is gonna trigger a distributed notification that's gonna trigger this uh, chunk of code uh, that will trigger a user's email client to write an email to us uh, so that's all about it uh, for this um, we have this icon so you can specify an icon for your safari extension so in safari to bar item i have that so yeah you have to set this action to pop over so uh, safari will show a pop over once once you click on it and here in the image you can assign an image so i have assigned this news image label uh it shouldn't be last tab i think it is from another project so currently it steps news and this is just a label that could show up in some ui here but currently shows the icon not the label um and you also have this script that is javascript that's going to be injected into the uh, safari uh, pages but i'm not gonna i'm, I'm not using this in our app so i'm gonna just comment it out this is from my earlier project uh, that i um, duplicated but I, d I don't need this uh, javascript in this project as you can see this also is from another project i'm going to delete it so that's about it uh, so I'm gonna be using this uh, app, this app as template to make you know, make other Safari extensions. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm gonna uh, upload this code to my Patreon, uh, so you can take a look at it. All right, guys. So that's this was it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.